Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my new videos on Blitz Tactics. This time I've got two replays for you to make it easier to point out what I'm about to tell you. Both of them are on the same map, it is Falls Creek. Should be familiar to most of you as it's, uh, I think it's played from from the lowest tiers on. So, yeah, it's uh, also not a Clan Wars map, but uh, we don't care about um, Clan Wars here, it's just about randoms. And this video is on the topic of spots and using them to take some decisive action. And what I like to do in this map um, is just spot in the middle. Uh, you can see I take the, this bush here on the other side. I would go for the house there and use the bush. Because um, you would spot if the enemies cross over to the medium side. Also you would spot if all enemies push into the heavy side. Which is very important to you because you don't want to get trapped in one side or the other. Of course you can still escape but um, it would often uh, cost you a lot of HP to do that. Um, just imagine I would have been on the right here with three enemies rushing in. I would have maybe lost all my HP or half my HP before I could escape. So as I noticed my team is also very passive here. I just decide to um, put in some crossfire and make sure the enemy the enemies don't uh, push in. But yeah, now I'm I'm at risk of getting pushed. I'm pretty alone and the Fosh is camping in the back. I don't expect any help from him. So I just leave the mediums alone. They are not able to push the Fosh that easily, or if they do, um, they it will take them a lot of time. So I know that three enemies are isolated on the other side of the map, while most of my team is also there. So I can just quickly push in and get in some crossfire and make sure that I get in cover as soon as possible. And now I have a different angle on the enemy. Now for my team to attack, it's, you can see I also tell them to, to attack here. And um, now I can just farm off the enemies while they yeah they cannot really care of me they don't have any chance because we have a lot of more guns here okay now I'm getting a bit in a uh, bad situation and I, I have to take the shots off the bad shit decide to track him and push in so he doesn't escape um, it's still better than taking shots from the WZ or I7 as the the alpha damage of Batshit is not that high. So um, yeah. Now the Batshit is cleared and only WZ is left on the side. I go for track shot here and circle him. At first <coughs> at first I'm uh, not taking my adrenaline because um, I'm thinking that it may get closer later, so I would maybe need the adrenaline and I would not save much time here by that. But uh, yeah, then I watch the map and see that uh, E100 is uh, in the middle between a lot of my teammates. Also, Type is in the back there, so I just go for quick uh, adrenaline and uh, try to finish off the. WZ as uh, fast as possible and get to the other enemies here to farm some more damage. Alright, that's it for the first replay already. Now, on the second one, you will see it's um, in a different way um, because um, uh, it, might, it may happen that uh, you are not able to push in and also you are not able to fall back because. Um, you would, uh, you always have to count the enemies on each side, and the enemies, uh, not the enemies, uh, the teammates that you have on on each side, because it's uh, basically very simple math. Uh, you can just um, assume that four win against three, 
and three would uh, not be able to push three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as for what's in good mood already, and yeah, whatever. I don't care about him. So he's camping in the back, and uh, we have three heavies versus three. Also two mediums and one light versus one medium and one light on our side which is not good for us because this means that our mediums will probably lose while our is 4 is um, just a bot and camping in the back and I can't, just, I can't hope for him to help on the heavy side either and I quickly decide it's not worth trading with the i7 which is high down and spots me after every, every shot. So um, I try to fall back and help my E50M. But also it would have been very tricky to get to the right side uh, directly as um, I don't know if the E50 is a good player or not. He may just uh, die very fast and uh, just imagine all of the enemy mediums would straight rush in and uh, my teammates, I mean the, the medium, E50 and the light, would not be able to hold them up, they would just die. Then I was alone on the right side and uh, would face three enemy guns and would not be able to, <coughs> to hold them up. So. Um, it made sense to stay on the left, even though I knew that um, on the right side there would be bigger problems. But uh, yeah, E50 did, did a good job of staying alive here, so I can just uh, turn to the other side again. Uh, the ice force is blaming me for not helping him, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I decided to go for the clippable target here, BFV has only 1200 HP so I can take him out and uh, now I want to make sure that I shoot the WT once to also be able to clip him also I um, want to shoot the E100 at least once also E100 is the easier target here I do not have to risk taking any shots luckily WT is also coming out now and not taking care of me, so um, it would not have been bad if he shot me. I would have been able to take him out, so yeah. Um, that's basically it. Uh, I can now just take out the last enemies, uh, no problem at all. So, to conclude what this video is about, just uh, Count the mediums and heavies uh, each, each side has in the beginning of the game and uh, decide which side is more likely to, to lose. So you will have to um, either push the side that is weaker, like uh, you have three heavies, enemies have two, or if that is not possible because of a lot of, a lot of TDs, uh, you may have to consider helping the other side. And um, yeah, that's it basically. So I hope you can use this in, um, in your gameplay. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it and also join the Discord server for our replays and analysis of defeats, platoon carries and so on. Share your gameplays there. See you soon.